all of us old Dolphins fans remember Wide Right Marino from the uh, Ace Ventura movie. Kickers, I, I really don't pay much attention to them. You know, it's everybody kind of dismisses the kicker until the big kick is needed and then he's the hero or the goat. I want to kind of move off my usual hard-hitting journalism of deep football analysis. Try my best. And kind of do something that I don't, I think, I didn't think I would ever do, and that's cover the kicker. Now, the only reason this is happening is because I uh, help edit over at Finn's News and put some articles out over there. I've been doing it for many years. And Jimmy Bourbon, he's the guy who runs the joint. Occasionally, he likes to do this thing where he'll say, uh, hey, I'm going on vacation for a month. Here's the last article I'm going to give you. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Taking over. Oh. So he did that to me. He sent me this article about Jason Sanders. And I was like, oh, man, <laughs> I got I to gotta make a month's worth of stuff over here. And I got this, the kick of stuff. Honestly, though, I went through the article not to say this is going to be a grand tour or anything like that, but there was some real interesting stuff in there, some fodder for consideration, and I'm going to dig into that. Not a long one, but there is some worthy stuff in there. I was very surprised. Very interesting stuff. So I'm kind of stealing his stuff because he left me holding the bag for a month. So if you see it over on Finn's News, I'm letting you know I'm stealing it for a reason. So anyway, just want to say thank you to all of you who are stopping by subscribes, the likes, the comments, the views, all that stuff is what's keeping this show going. But I also want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Ace Per Head, because without them, the show definitely would not keep going. Ace Per Head's betting software is the premier white label platform for bookies to manage their players and grow their sportsbook operation. Click the link in the description below to get set up in minutes. Ask for the Curtis promo and get a special and deductory discount. All right, so Jason Sanders got a big contract, and he was expected to have a big, big impact. Unfortunately, it was a very unsuccessful season for him. I want to dig into it here. 2021, big season, we all know, led to the firing of Flores and tumultuous changeover. But early on, things could have changed a little bit with a few kicks. Now, Sanders, he went 8 for 31 for the season on his field goals, which is not good. It was a 74.2% accuracy rating. Not good at all. And what really hurt him, there were some easy ones he missed, but also his 50-plus is what he really made his bread and butter on the year before was down dramatically. Now, if you compare the difference between 2021 and 2020, you can see it's dramatic. 2020, he went 3 for 39 with a 92.3% accuracy rating and made 8 out of 9 50-plus yard field goals. This is a big deal. I mean, I'm not, I never paid attention to kickers. You know, when I always, when I played, I always watch every coach, how they taught this, you know, different positions. The one I never paid any attention to was the kicker. I was always terrified to get punt returns or kick, kickoffs. So I was never involved in that. I played gunner. You know, I, I was on special teams for kickoff, but still never really paid attention to the kicker. But the kickers are critical. You look at the Bengals last year with uh, Evan McPherson, without them, it was they would, have, they would never have made the Super Bowl. This guy had was calling and saying, I'm going to make the big kick, and he made the big kick, and he was a huge part for them. Kickers are critical. I guess I'm a little bit of a, a football snob in that regard. But if you look at Jason Sanders, this is going to be a big year for McDaniel, for Tua, for the Dolphins, for Ross, for Greer, for Boyd, everybody involved. And they're going to be a load of close games. You look at, there's two Pat games. You know, uh, Dolphin fans are like, ah, we got the Pats. They're in third, maybe fourth place. They suck. I don't think so. I think they're going to be very tough. I think they're going to bring close games. Because if you look at last year's games, we should have lost the first one. 
And then the second one, we won, but it got really close at the end. And, and really in both games, the Patriots destroyed themselves with unusual, not normal, big mistakes on their part. Now, we've upped our game. I mean, we should be able to handle them. But I expect them to be tight. And this is where Sanders is going to come into play. Ravens game, that's going to be a brutal one. It's going to, we're going to have to make every chip shot that we get, and it's going to be a close one. Bengals, Steelers, I still think it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a close game, even though it's home. You know, obviously they're trying to figure out the quarterback situation. And the 49ers game, tight. So field goals are going to play a big part. And if you look at Sanders in. 2021, he had a week three miss at 41 yards. We ended up losing that game by by three points. And we went in and got the touchdown to tie it up. But that could have been a win there. And that one win could have had us in, would have had us in the playoffs. We would have swapped positions with the Patriots. One chip shot missed altered the course of the season. And then you look at the Jacksonville game, week six. He missed a 35-yarder. We ended up losing 20 to 23. Jags would have been going in to tie it up. And Flores probably would have played it differently. And we could have had that. So we could have been at 11 wins last year. I mean, it's amazing how those two kicks, a a 41 and a 35 yard altered. I mean, there's other things involved, obviously. I'm not going to lay it all on Sanders. But it's a big, big difference. Now, the good news is for people that are really hopeful for the season is that Sanders has got a weird trend. And this is what really like had me doing this podcast. He opened up 2018 was rookie year with 90% accuracy rate. And then he dove down to 76.7 accuracy rate. Then in 2020, he came back with, like I said before, 92.3 got the big contract. And then he came in with a 74.2. So it's hot. Cold, hot, cold. This season, if the follow the trends, would be a hot season for Sanders. And that could be the tipping point because I still think people are saying 14, 15 wins for this team. I'm still seeing at this stage 10, 11. I think 10, 11 is where I'm seeing it. And it could change with some big kicks, but certainly to get that 10, 11, they're going to need Sanders. And if you follow trends and all this other stuff, there's a hopeful indication that Sanders will have a big season and we're going to need it, folks. Anyway, I know this is not grand stuff, but I just thought that because of this hot, cold trend and how last year Sanders kind of could have played the hero in many regards and, and didn't. And now in this season, it's a hot year for him following the trends. I thought it was interesting. Anyway, as Curtis saying, this is a quick one. Going to come back to you for some more in-depth stuff, deeper stuff uh, next. But thanks thanks again for stopping by, everybody. Thanks for the subscribes, the likes, and uh, comments, of course. I love the comments. Curtis saying, catch you next time. Be well. Go Fins. See you soon. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.